Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we shall be talking about the basic anatomy of the eye. So whenever we are talking about the anatomy of eye, let us say you are looking into the eye from the front side. Okay, this is what you see, right? Here is your nose. Here is your eye, somewhat like this, right? Then you have the black part here. Remember now, whenever we are talking about the black part, is it is actually the iris that you are able to see. You are not able to see the cornea. So when you say that the color of the eye is black, green, whatever is the color, it's not the color of cornea, it is the color of iris. Inside this iris, you are having an another hole like structure, structure that is known as the pupil. So here is the iris. In front of the iris, you are having cornea. That is the most transparent structure, right? And this is actually known as this white part is actually known as this sclera. What is this? This is sclera. And this sclera is also covered by a transparent membrane that is actually known as the uh, your uh, conjunctiva. Yeah. So, so if you see here, here will be a small hole. These are known as punctum, right? It is required to drain the fluids. This is known as upper cannulicula, lower cannulicula. Cannulicula means a drainage pathway here, right? So, Remember the junction of the conjunctiva, the junction of the sclera and the cornea that is known as the limbus. So limbus will be somewhere in this area, right? This area, this will be your limbus, right? And this is your eye, entire eye. Remember the upper eyelid normally is going to cover 2 mm of the cornea. So sometimes what happens in grave disease, whenever your eyeballs are pushed forward, you will be able to see the upper uh, portion of this that is 2 mm will not be covered so in that state we say the person is kind of staring at you right whenever you are staring at something it is more visible so remember that 2 mm covering is normal here right so what you have to understand here is that there is the punctum here along with this this is the sclera that is white in color above the sclera there is conjunctiva Right, this is the entire, this portion is your uh, cornea, below the cornea that is your iris that gives color to your eye, here is the pupil, right, and this junction is known as the, uh, your limbus, right, so this is the lateral canthus, this part is known as lateral canthus, this is known as the middle canthus, same middle canthus, lateral canthus, that's all you have to remember what you see from the external source, right, so now let us try to understand how are you going to see the eye, right, so this is a cross section of the eye, right? This is the cross section of the eye. Please uh, pardon for my di diagram of the eye. So imagine this is your eye, basic structure of the eye. Remember there is three layers of eye. Outer layer is known as the sclera, inner is the vascular coat and the second, third one is your retinal coat. We'll talk about with doing a cross section. So this is your cornea, right? This is your cornea and this structure is your iris. Inside this, you will be having a pupil somewhat like this. You will be having a pupil. After this, you will be having a ciliary body, right? You will be having a ciliary body. Now, how do you understand what is a ciliary body here? First of all, I would like to draw some another structures here, right? I will draw some another structures. Right, I will just draw some another structures here, right? Yes, it's just a very very vague diagram. Do not worry so much about the diagram, right? Di uh, know about the concept here. So this part is actually filled with vitreous humor. This is actually filled with vitreous humor. This is your retina. This is your uh, vascular layer. Right? And this is your sclera. Sclera makes 5 sixth, this cornea makes 1 sixth, right? This is your iris, this is your iris. Remember this is the angle that we are always worried about in glaucoma, this angle, the iris and the cornea here, this angle, right? And this is your ciliary body and remember again the retina is divided into three, two parts, central and peripheral, we'll talk about it later. And this is where your optic nerves comes and you'll be having the macule and the I'll tell you about this part later, right, in this video. So just remember this much. This is the entire structure. Now, remember you are having the lens somewhat like this, which is suspended with the zonules, which is suspended by zonules, which is suspended by zonules. 
and this is what the basic very very basic anatomy of the eye now remember 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 i'm drawing this uh, ciliary body into a more detailed structure right so ciliary body if you see it properly you will be having folds okay so this fold is known as pars plicata plicata means folds this is pars plicata this is pars plana these are the uh, parts of the ciliary body that is normal ciliary body right so this is the and now we are going to talk about the retina now we are going to talk about the retina again as i told you retina is divided into two parts peripheral and central okay peripheral is known as aura serrata and the central is known as macula right so whenever you use an ophthalmoscope what is the diagram that you are able to see whenever you use an ophthalmoscope okay so whenever you are able to use an, using an ophthalmoscope remember you will be seeing somewhat in this kind of structure right okay remember so this is your optic disc this is a optic cup and there will be some blood vessels you'll be seeing the blood vessels right artery and vein you'll be seeing and this one is actually your macula and center is the fovea remember fovea is the center of macula and fovea is in this part you will be having the most clearest image that means the, uh, the maximum amount of light falls here which gives you the perfect vision this is what you're going to see remember the ratio here is, should be 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 if this ratio changes now optic disc this op now imagine this optic cup increases in size the ratio will be increased right if this size increases this means you might be having glaucoma and you are supposed to see the margin of optic cup and optic disc distinctly if you are not able to appreciate the margin that means there may be optic disc edema optic disc swelling that can be there can be swelling here so this is very 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 important so if you don't draw the eye right if you draw the eye somewhat again somewhat like this where the it enters right so this is what you are actually watching here right this is the optic cup this is the optic disc right sorry this is optic disc and you have the cup, cup inside and you're having a macula so in short this part actually right this part macula and phobia is nothing optic disc optic cup is nothing it's just a pathway for the optic nerve to enter to the eye that's all man that's all you have to remember about the uh, anatomy of the eye so i do understand uh, it's a very quick video to show and I, the video the the image is not uh, sorry the diagram is not that clear so please pardon for that right so what i want to say is that give more emphasis on understanding you will get much 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 better diagrams in a book and an online right so this is what you have to understand again this is the iris this is the pupil you'll be finding the pupil here right and then if you draw um if you draw your ciliary body somewhat like this then you can draw your vascular coat somewhat like this right you draw your vascular coat somewhat like this this is your this is your retina this is your actually retina this is your vascular coat why vascular coat to supply uh, nutrition to the retina this is your sclera this is where the optic optic uh, nerve comes okay so this part again if i want to draw it here this is your cup this is your optic cup right and this is your optic disc right so this is the ratio that you have to remember how do you remember which is optic cup and optic disc? Imagine you are giving tea to someone, right? So you give a cup and then you give a in a plate, right? So the plate, this is the, the disc and the cup is the smaller part, um, portion, right? And you have the artery and veins here. That's all. And here you have filled with vitreous. And you have the lens somewhat here suspended with the zonules. 
suspensory ligaments of the eye right that is what you have to basically understand about the anatomy of the eye so that is what about a small video of anatomy of eye i just want to give you an overview practice it more and more it will be more easier for you to understand that's all for now and thank you